You ever thrown a surprise party for Mr. Quint before? Well, it's the only way to give him a party. Because you're such a big family? Exactly. I'm watching for Mr. Quint's boat. No sign of him. Oh, you don't have to watch yet, Bill. He won't be back for at least two hours. Whoa! It's not my birthday, George. I'm not supposed to get surprised. <laughs> He's home early. No. Oh, what do we do? <laughs> oh, take him to your house and keep him there till party time. <laughs> not yet, George. Well, hey there, young fellas. Ooh, looks like you sprung a leak. Bad luck today, huh? Well, not all bad. Got to see part of the river I never saw before. <laughs> the bottom. Well, I gotta change my soggy socks. Oh, uh, uh, don't! I, I mean, come to our house. <laughs> we want to build a fish pond and need expert advice about fish. Uh, well, sure. Well, let me just get some dry clothes. Here, dry clothes. Go help him. All right, Mother, if you say so. Huh? No quint can resist fish crackers. They may come in handy. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Have fun. So George and the man with the yellow hat kept Mr. Quint busy with lots of questions. What do you think? <laughs> Well, if you make a pond that big, you can have almost any size fish. As George was about to ask exactly how many whales he could have, Mr. Quint's brother, Flint Quint, showed up. Hmm? Oh, uh, uh, hi. George, it's Mr. Quint's brother, the train station master. Hey, Clint, happy birthday. Hey, Flint, happy birthday. <laughs> Oh, didn't you know the Quints were born together? So Flint can't know about the party either, okay? <laughs> the Quints were twins. Now George had two people to yell surprise at. It couldn't get any better. You know, I said you needed help, so I came right over. Well, this here's fish business, not trains, so you can weigh anchor. I'll meet you back at my house. Uh, don't go! <laughs> uh, oh, we want to know about running a train around the pond we're planning. I'll be right back. <laughs> Hello? Oh, it's Mrs. Quint. Disaster. The bakery truck broke down, so they can't deliver the birthday cake. Don't worry. I, I can go pick it up. Oh, thank you. It's at Mr. Piscato's bakery over in Franklin Square. You can't run tracks across the pond. It'll scare the fish. Well, then we'll just have to tunnel. Guys, could you monkey sit for me while I run an errand? Uh, sure. We'll just figure out the pond while you're gone. <laughs> George, it's your job to keep the quince here so the surprise isn't wrecked, okay? <laughs> George knew this would be easy, because the Quint brothers would probably argue about the pond for hours. Well, we've got it all worked out. The perfect pond and train. <gasps> so we'll monkey sit you at my house where we could draw up plans. <laughs> George had to keep the quince here. It was important. The surprise. Fish crackers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, um, we could have fish crackers here and then go to my house. That's a good idea. Eating this many crackers would keep the quince here a long time. Somehow, this didn't look fair. <laughs> Fish 
fish food could arrive by train at 10 o'clock and 3 o'clock. <laughs> Those look delicious. <laughs> My brother's wife requests that I proceed here to provide backup. Hey, Clint, happy birthday. Hey, Flint, happy birthday. Hey, Wint, happy birthday. Oh, well, didn't you know, George? All us quints were born together. Of course, I'm the oldest. <clears throat> By two minutes. The quints were triplets. Now George had three people to yell surprise at. Ah. Even better. Fish crackers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Reel in your hooks. We were here first. Huh? Huh? George was going to need another plate to keep three whole quints here. <laughs> nice, but where's the police boat? <laughs> I've got juice at home that goes great with fish crackers. Let's eat these at my house. <laughs> George! <laughs> well, that's the same juice. Okay, we'll stay here so we don't have to wait for fish crackers. <laughs> fish crackers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. George had to admit he had no juice. Happy birthday, boys. Happy birthday. George, meet our sister, Sprint Quint, the track star. She won three Olympic gold medals. Oh, pshaw. That was long ago. Count them. Three. The quints were quadruplets. Now George had four people to yell surprise at. This was the best. Ah, so I hear you need help putting a jogging track around a pond. Are those fish crackers? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> but before he even tried to split 12 crackers onto five plates, Another quint showed up. Flint, plant, went, sprint. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <gasps> George, meet our sister, Mint Quint. She prints money for the government. Want samples of my latest work? So I hear you need help figuring out the cost of a pond. <laughs> Five? Oh, yeah, that's right. This is all of us. We're quintuplets. I wonder what this belongs to. Oh, George! I found your lost boat. <laughs> in the freezer. You know, George, if you were a little more careful with your toys, you wouldn't lose so many of them. You almost ready to go to the park? 
<laughs> hey, aren't you glad we found your boat, George? G George? Sharky wanted to play in the mud, too. <laughs> hey, George! What do you say we go home and grab some lunch? <laughs> Maybe you should try and clean up a little bit before we go. We could be here all day doing this. You can clean up at home, George. Okay, George, lunch is ready. George, you have to get cleaned up before you can eat. Just take a quick bath. I'll wait. There were only two things that could get George to take a bath. Bubbles and... and... Springy the Frog. George wondered where he could be. George? George, what is taking so long? You can clean your room later, after you clean yourself, and after we eat lunch. <laughs> Hop in. Oh, I get it. You want to be launched like a new ship, huh? All right, here we go. Into the sea. <laughs> You're tickling me. Look, I know you took a bath already this morning, but you're muddy, George. <laughs> hey, look at all the fun bubbles. See? There was no way George could take a bath without Springy, who had to be around here somewhere. George? There was no way George was going to admit he lost another toy. <laughs> who had to be here somewhere. <laughs> George! George! <laughs> George, aren't you going to take a bath? Are you going to take a bath tonight? You don't know? Tomorrow? Ever? Oh, well, I can't have a muddy monkey messing up the apartment. <laughs> okay, George, forget about giving yourself a bath. How about we give your truck a bath? You don't mind if I wash my car while you wash your truck, do you? George loved making bubbles anywhere. He didn't need a tub. A bucket of water and a little soap worked, too. They were so light and shining and filled with air. But making bubbles reminded him of Springy. There! All clean. Good job. Yeah. Oh. Ah, ah. Hi, guys. Oh, you're looking good, George. Hmm. 
Uh, well, at least the right half of you is. <laughs> I guess someone's due for half a bath. I wish, but George won't take a bath anymore. I, I don't get it. And maybe George feels he's getting too old for a bath. Of course, that's it. <sighs> My little monkey is growing up. <laughs> now I know exactly what to do. Come on, George, we're going in. Oh, uh, thanks, Professor Wiseman. You're a genius. <laughs> well, yeah. I understand your problem with baths now, George. <laughs> and I agree, it's time for you to start taking showers. Turn on the water, George, and see what happens. Oh. George. George. Okay. Won't take baths, won't take showers. I need to take a walk and not think about any problems for a while. But sometimes, not thinking about something is harder than you think. Bubbles. Maybe, somehow, Springy was nearby. <laughs> Hi, Betsy. Hi, Steve. Hello. Betsy made pretty good bubbles, but she was no plastic frog. Hey, George. We're washing dogs to make money. Want to help? Uh-huh. Yeah, George, why don't you help? There's soap and water and bubbles and soap. <laughs> Great. George can help me make bubbles to attract dirty customers. George figured the triangle bubble maker was broken. But a square bubble would be just as good. They fooled me the first time I tried them, too. It doesn't matter what shape bubble maker you use, they'll always turn out round. All this bubble making made George miss Springy even more. Sharky, you're more mud than dog. Hey, George, would you help me? Could you wash Sharky's ball? Don't be shy about getting some of that clean water on yourself. <laughs> of course. The park. The mud. Sharky. <laughs> no, oh, no, 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 you're getting dirtier. George, slow down. I... Okay, I'll meet you back home. Oh. Wow. You beat me home. Uh, why were we racing? George, you're taking a bath? Okay, then. Enjoy. I, um, wow. I wonder what that was all about. 